All right then gang, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a drop down menu. And this drop down menu is gonna go up in the toolbar over here. And when we click on it, it's gonna show a series of links. In fact, it's gonna be the same links as these things over here. So just an alternative menu for those of us who are not internet savvy and don't know what this means over here. Okay, so this menu is gonna look something like this. We're gonna have a button. When we click on that, we see these different things down here. So let's have a look at the code for this. And you can see, first of all, we have this V menu component. Then inside we have this V button component and this has a slot equal to activator. So already we should know now that this button is the thing that's gonna to toggle the opening and closing of the drop down menu because we've seen activator in the past, it activates things. So underneath that button, we now have a V list component and inside that a V list tile, which is outputting several different items by looping through them using V4. And inside that we have a list tile title. So we're gonna do something very similar to this. What I'm gonna do is again, just copy this and we're gonna paste it in our code for reference. Like I say, always a good idea to do this. So we need to go to the navbar component and I'm gonna place this after the spacer, but before the sign out button. So let me just do a little comment here, just so we know what this is. So we'll say drop down menu, like so. And what I'm gonna do is actually paste this above so we can see it and we'll delete that in a second. So first of all, we need the V menu component right there. So let's say V hyphen menu. Okay, now underneath that, we need the button, which is the activator. So let's do V hyphen BTN. And this in our case is gonna be a flat button because I don't want that raised button with the drop shadow and the blue color or any other color. In fact, I want this to be flat. Then we need to say the slot is equal to activator because this is the thing activating the menu and also we'll give this a color prop equal to gray that means that the color of the text is going to be gray and the hover color in the background is going to be light gray and that's because we've made it flat okay so inside this button all we want to say really is menu but we also want to show some kind of icon so let's do an icon first v hyphen icon and the icon that we want is expand underscore more. Again, I've not just grabbed this from thin air, I've gone to the material icons website and found this keyword right here for that icon. So we want this to appear on the left of the button. So let's use the left prop to do that. And underneath, I'm gonna create now a span tag and just type in menu. So let me just comment this stuff out for a second so it doesn't appear on the page. And I'm gonna save this and let's see if we can view that button in the toolbar. So it looks something like that. This looks okay. Now at the minute it does nothing. So let's hook up the rest of this component. So we need a V list component underneath this thing over here, underneath the button. So let's do a V hyphen list like so. And then the next thing was to do a V list tile. And we're gonna cycle through our links, which we have down on our component data over there. So if we zoom back up, I'm gonna say V hyphen list hyphen tile, and I'm gonna use a V4 on this. And I'm gonna say for link in links. Links is the name of the data down at the bottom. At least I think it is. Yeah, links, okay? So we're cycling through these now, and now each one of these links needs a key property. So let's bind some data to do that. So I'll say key is equal to the link dot text because that is gonna be unique. Now also, I want each one of these tiles to link to a specific route. Now to do that, remember, we need to add on the router prop, which says this is gonna be linked to a certain route, and then we can use two to say where we want this route to go to. Now we're gonna use data binding right here, so let's do the little colon, and then this is gonna to go to link.route, which is that property on these objects right here. So either forward slash, forward slash projects, or forward slash team. All right, so now we have the tile sorted. Inside, we want to output the title, the text. So to do that, let me say v hyphen list hyphen tile hyphen title. We've seen all this when we looked at lists in a previous tutorial. And all we want to do is output some data, so double curly braces, and we want to say link dot text, which is this property down here, all right? So I think that is almost it. 
We can delete this now. In fact, we'll leave it for a second, but let's just save that and preview this in a browser. Now, if we take a look at this, we can see these things right here. Now, just one little thing I don't like about this. When we click on the menu, it actually hides the menu button. Now, my first instinct when I open a menu to close it would be to click the button that opened it. So I don't want it to hide this. So in order to combat that, we can use a prop on this called offset hyphen Y, and that's gonna offset it in the Y direction so that the button is not actually covered when we click on it. So now, if I click on this, you can see it goes below the button instead. So if we test this out, let's go to my projects, that works, team works, and dashboard works. And notice this, this is a really cool effect. When we're on a particular page, it's highlighted. So now you can see that projects is highlighted. If we're on team, then team is highlighted. So that's a nice little addition, right? So there we go, my friends. That is a simple drop down menu for you. And all we had to do to create that was to make a V menu, place a button inside with an activator slot, and then use a list to list out our different links. So let me just delete all this stuff up and neaten it up. And there we go.